morning, everyone. This is Prophet Brown. I'm going live right now in New York. We want to welcome each and every one of you to the broadcast this morning. We're standing here at Ground Zero. Again, we're at Ground Zero uh, in the city. Uh, the buildings behind me uh, was erected after 9-11. Uh, I felt this morning it would be an opportunity to share the word of the Lord from here, ground zero in New York this morning, that we may be able uh, to shift some of the focus that we've had. Now, this is a very, this week is important. This is a week starting today. Today is Prophetic Friday. Pro today is Prophetic Ascension, Prophetic Promotion, and Prophetic Elevation. Now, as of today, starting today, the 8th of July, 2016, we are moving into a new dimension of the prophetic, a new dimension of ascension, and a new dimension of what God has to do. I want those of you that are with me this morning, I want you to go to Isaiah. Isaiah, the book of Isaiah 43. And I want to share with you, good morning, Miss Moore. God bless you this morning. Those of you that are joining, I'm so happy that you could join us this morning. Isaiah 43 and 18, it says, Remember not the former thing, neither consider the things of old. But behold, I'll do a new thing. Shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The beast of the field shall honor me, the dragon and the owl, because I give them water to drink in the wilderness. This is a season where God is doing something new. And those of you that are connected and those of you that understand the prophetic and those of you that follow the prophetic, this is a season where God is doing great promotion. Now, I know that there is confusion throughout the earth. There have been five men, police officers, that's been shot in Dallas. Six wounded. Eleven people that have been victimized in Dallas, Texas. But I want you to understand that God is still doing something new. God is working in the lives of people. And God is working in your life. As we come to you this morning, we are coming with prophetic direction. I want you to write down these words. Prophetic direction, prophetic ascension, and prophetic covering. This is a time that God is doing something new in our lives. Now, I want you to begin to look at several things this morning. We're on Periscope. Those of you that are joining us, you, you're looking at the new building that was erected after 9-11. And so this morning, we're in New York. We're at Ground Zero. Uh, we've been through the memorial. We have walked uh, through ground zero, zero, and there is a feeling of being uncomfortable here. And what you have to do, each one of you must master your feelings. You, must, you cannot make decisions based on feelings. You cannot make decisions based on what it looked like. You cannot make decisions based on what you're thinking. But you have to begin to make decisions based on the plan and the mind of God. What is God saying to you at this time? What is God saying? What is God saying? Prophetically, what is God saying? We must begin to look at God and begin to think like God. In other words, we must have the mind of Christ. The mind of Christ, 
listen to this. Because the mind of Christ was the mind of the Father. The Father's mind was the consciousness of Christ. Bible says out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Come on tonight, I love you. Christ didn't make decisions based on his earth. His name is Jesus. Christ made decisions based on heaven. Name, so you Hallelujah. must begin to make decisions based Jesus. on heaven's Jesus. consciousness. Jesus. If you make your decisions based on heaven's consciousness, now you are no longer bound by earth. This is Prophetic Friday. This is a prophetic ascension, promotion, elevation. It starts today. And you should be feeling the anointing, sensing the anointing, relying on the anointing in a different way. The ascension, the elevation, the promotion. This must be your meditation. You want to study ascension. You want to study promotion. You want to study elevation. You must study God's lifting. God's lifting. This is a season of lifting, promotion, elevation, ascension. And when you go into the word of the Lord and you begin, now, now listen to me, uh, those of you that are, that, are, that are with me, I want you to listen to what I'm about to say. Prophetess Tamara, Tamara, good morning. Because when you go into 2 Kings, I need everyone to go uh, to 2 Kings. And I want you to look at a very, very powerful uh, uh, text when it, when it comes to Elijah and Elijah. Now, remember, remember that Elijah was going to ascend. Elijah was going to ascend. Good morning, Facebook. Ascension, ascension into the heavens. Ascension into the mind of God. But Elijah Elisha, Elisha was going to be promoted. Elijah was going to be ascended, elevated. So the father, Elijah, was being ascended. He was ascending. Elisha was being promoted. He was being uh, lifted. And so what each of you today, as you are connected uh, to this anointing, because we believe that we are in a season of ascension, especially when you look at 2 Kings. When you look at 2 Kings and you begin to study uh, 2 Kings and you begin to look at the power of 2 Kings, you begin to say, and it came to pass when the Lord would take up Elijah unto heaven. So now, 
when your fathers are being taken up, when your fathers are being elevated, there is something that is going to be given to you. And it's given to you because you have been connected. Do you hear what I'm saying? A lot of people uh, want things, but they are not connected. A lot of people, uh, they want to be promoted. They, they want to go deeper. They want to go higher. But but they are not they are not connected in the way that they need to be connected. And the reason that people are not promoted is because they are not connected. And when you're not connected, you can't get elevated by yourself. Now, you can promote yourself, but you sometimes you got to be connected to other people. And so that grace, see, Paul said, you are partakers of my grace. And so Paul knew that because the people of God was sowing in the Paul, they were giving in the Paul, Paul said in Philippians, now I wish that your gift would abound and that you are partakers of my grace. Meaning that because God has graced me to be able to do things that other people can't do, that grace is upon me. And now that that grace is upon me, it can be extended to you because you are partners with me. And so Elisha chose Elijah to be a partner with him. And Elijah had did such a committed work, a consistent, committed, loyal, faithful work for God. God said, listen, Elijah, Elijah, it's time for you to go to the next level. Good morning, Facebook. And so now that Elijah was going to be ascending, Elisha would have to be elevated because Elijah was being elevated. And as a why? Now listen to me, listen to this, uh, invite your friends, listen to this. Because Elijah was being promoted, listen to this, by God. Elijah was not being promoted by man. Elijah was being promoted by God. There are those of you that have been connected to this ministry. You've been sowing into this ministry. You've been giving into this ministry. And you're still giving into this ministry. Even as I am in New York, there are those of you, you said that you would sow today, that you would plant today. And because this is the day to this evening at seven o'clock, the ascension will begin. And so because the ascension will begin, the elevation will begin, the Lord has commanded that promotion, increase, elevation would come. So now when elevation comes, when promotion comes, that promotion is handed to you. Now I'm in New York City this morning and the buildings that you see directly behind me, these two buildings was erected after 9-11. Why am I here? I'm here to tell you that what has been destroyed in your life, what you have lost in your life, these are monuments to what God can do in your life. These are monuments to the greatness that God can rebuild, God can reestablish, God can reaffirm, God can bring restoration, God can be, bring beauty to that that was dead in your life. And the people that died here at 9-11 and the people that were hurt and the people that were killed here in 9-11, these people are, this has been built as a memorial. And I'm telling you that your seed is a memorial because you're sowing into the death of one aspect of ministry and you're sowing into the life of a new aspect of ministry. You've got to understand that when God that when God begin to promote, when God begin to elevate, when God begin to exalt, that he's not going to warn you. He's just going to do it. God is about to do something in the next eight days, starting today, the conference start and the elevation and the promotion is going to start. And those of you that are connected, yeah, I know that you have done something, but some of you, you have promised to do something 
you haven't done it, now is the time. We're in New York. You need to get your seed in the ground. Why? Because there's elevation, there's promotion, there's increase and ascension. I'm in 2 Kings. I'm in the book of 2 Kings, everybody. And I want you to go there with me. Glory to God. I want you to go to 2 Kings with me. And I want you to listen uh, to what God is saying. Because when Elijah was, ele was being elevated, when Elijah was going to the next place, he had a son. Glory to God. And whenever there is a son, whenever there is somebody that is connected to you, that will allow you to speak into their life. Elijah Eli allowed Elijah to speak into his life. Hear me by the Spirit of God this morning. When there is a prophet that, that speaks into your life, when there is an anointing that speaks into your life, things are going to happen for you quickly. Things are going to happen for you quickly. I believe that this is a season that things are going to happen quickly for you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Things are going to happen quickly for you. I'll say it again. Things are going to happen quickly for you. Why? Because you are connected to an anointing where things are going to happen quickly. Why? Because there is a grace. There is is a grace there is a grace and the grace is going to flow to you the grace is flowing to you the grace is flowing to you i'm not in new york just to be here i'm not in new york just to be at another conference but i'm here because there is an elevation coming there's here because the prophets from all over the land is coming. And when Christ died, people died. And when, when Christ died, you died. When you when Christ rose, you rose. Good morning. Good morning, sir. How are you? Good this morning. I'm, sir, come, can you come around here? Oh, sir. I'm, I'm here with some officers. And uh, because I'm at ground zero, I'm around so they can see what I'm talking about. I don't need for anybody to see me, so because I just want to ask you to uh, respect the people who might be... Hold on. I respect the people who might be here. So yeah. Quiet reflection. Right, I got you. I'll be quiet. Sure will. I'll be more than happy. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. So you know I get excited when I minister, so they want me to... Because this is a memorial, I need to calm down. I hadn't even thought about it. So let me slow down a little bit. There are people that come here from all over the world because of these two buildings that you see behind me that was, that these two planes flew into them. And so let me say, let me, let me say what I'm saying. When Elijah and Elisha met, God connected him. It was a prophetic connection. That prophetic connection led to a deeper relationship. Now listen to this. Elijah was being ascended. Elijah was being lifted. Elijah was being promoted. Why? Because he was taking his father's place in the earth realm because the father was going to use Elijah in the heavenly realm. Now this is why sowing today is so important. Tonight at the consecration service, the elevation service, the mantle of the master prophet that trained me in ministry is being lifted to a level of honor as an archbishop. That mantle of bishopric and prophet now falls to the sons. So now the father will begin to use masters 
to release a deeper prophetic training word to us as senior pastors as we minister by the Holy Spirit to those that are under our pastoralship, under our evangelistic ministry, under our prophetic ministry, under our apostles ministry. And so those that fivefold ministry anointing has increased. I can already feel it. Now I came uh, into New York on Wednesday and uh, I rest Wednesday night, spent Thursday with my mother and now I'm here it's 9.30 in the morning in New York. 9 o'clock in the morning in New York. You know that every every Friday is prophetic Friday. This is prophetic Friday. Prophetic Friday. Now we're in a prophetic season, good morning Gina. The season that we are in is promotion. And when you are connected, what you are connected to, you sacrifice for. Now all of you could not be in New York, but I could be here and I'm bringing you with me. Day by day, for the next eight days, there are going to be times I'm going to be periscoping after 11 at night, 12 o'clock, maybe for 15 minutes. I'll give you an update of what's going on, of uh, the prophetic word that's being released. I want you to take notes because I want you to text them back to me. Now I want you to hear this. We are in a season of promotion and elevation. And so as we prepare to be elevated tonight, there's going to be a, a stronger anointing as we prophetically speak into your life, pray over your family life, pray for your business, pray for the entrepreneurs that the anointing will would expand, but also that you would understand because the elevation from Bishop Prick to Archbishop Prick, the old mantle is shed and the new mantle falls. So I'm getting ready to close because I need to get a train uh, to the airport because I'm staying at the LaGuardia uh, Plaza, which is a beautiful hotel on Gitmar in Queens. But I want to say to each and every one of you, husband headed to Dallas for ministry, please keep him. Yes, Prophetess Tamara, I believe that uh, your husband is gonna have a good report. Um, and I believe also that today your husband will learn uh, who to trust uh, and he's going to meet people uh, that want to be a blessing to him and not just pull from him but giving to him and so the, today those of you that are on uh, if you could go to the website www.jforhim.org I'll say it again www.jforhim.org um Maybe uh, you say, Apostle, listen, I want to help you. Here's a seed. Here's uh, $189. Here's $100. Apostle, I want to be a blessing to you. Here's, here's $500. Go to, go to the website, www.jforhim.org. Allow jforhim.org. Allow the Holy Spirit to use you as we move into a new anointing. Good morning, Linda. Good morning, Teresa. Um, I'm getting ready to close. And this is Prophetic Friday. So this Friday are three things I want everyone to think about. Number one, prophetic ascension. Prophetic ascension. 
uplifting promotion. And this is very important. God is lifting you to new experiences that will allow you to move forward and prosper. The other thing about this meeting, it's a prosperity meeting. The meeting that I'm going into starting tomorrow morning at 5.33 a.m. is a prosperity meeting for School of the Prophets. Tomorrow morning when I come out of that meeting, I'm going to do a 15-minute periscope. You don't want to miss it. Those of you that are connected, yes, uh, this is the prophet speaking. Today, your prophetic assignment is to sow into me personally. So whatever you give today, that seed is going to go towards my personal life. I'm going to eat from it, whether that is buying books, getting in a class, that seed that you sow today, the prophet is going to eat the seed. The prophet is going to eat your seed today. Elijah ate the widow's cake. Elijah ate the widow's cake. Make me a cake today. What do you have in your house? What do you have that you could sow right now? What do you have that you could sow right now? This is for the prophet that is ascending to another level. You are sowing into the next level of the prophet's life. He's going to eat your cake. I'm going to use it for whatever I need it for. So whether you saw 1,500 or 100 or 50, go to the website, www.jforhim.org. I want you to know this too. I love you guys, and, and, and this is how I'm going to express my love. I'm going to give to you I'm going to give to you. I'm going to give to you the revelation that God want me to release that would move you to the next level of your life. This is how I express my love. This is how I express my love by giving you the best possible revelation towards God and his prosperity and kingdom prophetically that I can. That means I'm not going to give you a watered down word. My love means, my love means I'm going to give you the best. I'm going to give you my love. I'm giving you my love when I give you the absolute best. When you sow, into this ministry. It allows me to grow because I can study, I can buy books, I can buy material. 
I can get books you can't get. I have access to books that are not on the market. And so today, I trust you to trust me, to trust that when you sow your seed, you will get the best from me. This is my covenant with you. That you will get the best from me. I'm going to break this down like this. My, my assignment is to walk as a prophet. My gifting may be website design, promotion, advertising. My gifting may be advertisement, website design, management, but that is not my assignment. My assignment is to walk as a prophet. My assignment is to coach, mentor, and father those that hear this prophetic voice and covenant. I'm sweating. Sweat is running down my back. It's hot. I got to go. Sow a seed at www.j4him.org. J4him.org. Somebody put the website up for me. There are School of the Prophets books. There are School of the Prophets books and courses. Mystery schools. Stay connected. I'm going to be sharing. Thank you, Linda, for putting up the website. Those of you that are on, go to the website, j4him.org. Plant your seed this morning. Miss Blackmore. I got to go, everyone. I got to catch this train. Once I get into New York and get to the hotel, um, I'll give everyone an update as the day goes on. We love you. And remember, my job is to give you the best teaching that I could possibly give you. My assignment is to walk as a prophet. Even though you may have many giftings and callings, you got one assignment, and you need to find out what that is. God bless you. Those of you on Facebook this morning, I want to thank you for joining me. And uh, I'm getting off right now, and I pray that you enjoyed the message.
Stutton Boulevard. Okay. Stutton Boulevard yeah. because the the air, the air can be so Oh no, 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 no. You want the guardian, not the guardian. Oh, the guardian, no. Yeah. Okay, you lose that. Take, 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 the, take the four or the five uptown on to 125th. Uh -huh. And over there, catch the bus, the M60. It takes you all the way to the LaGuardia. Okay, so. Let me do this. Of course, it's seven. Somebody. Yeah, they took the fastest seven way. Across the the fastest way is because I, 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 I know, sorry, I, I used that, I used that myself before. Okay. You go to 100 and 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 
closing doors, please.
how do I get a ticket out of here?